What's up everyone? Zach Smith here. Uh, for those of you that uh, don't know me on uh, the Twitters, uh, personally, I'm a fifth generation farmer located on the Iowa-Minnesota border, straight north of uh, Des Moines, Iowa, corn and soybean farmer. And uh, wanted to fill everyone in uh, today on a new project that I'm going to be beta testing here in 2020 that I think people might have some interest in. So a good buddy of mine uh, that lives 30 miles north of me that farms by the name of Sheldon Stevemer, uh, he and I have been brainstorming um, for the last couple months on trying to come up with a new system that addresses a lot of the concerns, issues that we have with our current uh, ag commodity paradigm, essentially. And so we've come up with a new cropping practice that we're going to be beta testing this year called stock cropping. So what is stock cropping? So stock cropping is essentially the intersection of uh, commodity crop production with livestock production in the field happening at the same time. So what is this going to look like? Well, basically what we're going to do is we are going to utilize the principles of strip intercropping with planting strips of corn and uh, interlace them with strips of forage, uh, an annual forage mix that we are going to put livestock on in basically uh, big livestock tractors. So if you're familiar with chicken tractors, um, we're basically designing and building a superstructure that will house multiple species of livestock that will be advanced through uh, pasture strips that will graze and lay down manure uh, in these strips next to corn production. And um, we're going to try to pull that off. And so uh, to give you a better picture of what this is going to look like, I'm going to give you a bird's eye view of the plot layout that we have right now. So this is what our beta test site for the stock cropping project uh, looks like here as we get ready for planting this week. So the setup is as follows. So we're going to have alternating strips of corn, pasture, corn, pasture, corn, pasture, essentially that we are going to have laid out here. And so we'll have 12 rows of corn. We strip tilled that last week uh, to get that ready to go. Hopefully that'll get planted this week. In between the corn, we have our pasture strips. Okay, so these are an annual forage pasture. It's a five-way mix uh, that we seeded here. Uh, I think it was about 10 days or two weeks ago now that we were able to sneak out and get that uh, punched in. And so the hope is, is that that pasture mix will get going here now that we're finally getting some heat and, uh, and get out of the ground. We'll get the corn planted. And then hopefully in about a month, five or maybe five or six weeks, we'll have enough uh, growth in these uh, three pasture strips that we'll be able to bring out and introduce our giant livestock tractor system that we are in the process of uh, finishing up design and starting building soon here. Um, and within that livestock tractor we're going to have, the plan is for now, four different species of livestock. So we're going to have some uh, small ruminants with sheep and goats out front followed up with pigs and then followed up behind that with chickens. And uh, so if you can imagine these strips with corn, with pasture in between, and a livestock barn moving straight at the camera with a three ring or a four ring circus uh, existing inside of it. And so this is what uh, our vision is. We'll see uh, uh, how it comes to fruition, but uh, this is the site that we are going to be conducting this experiment on here in 2020. So there you have it, the preview of the 2020 stock cropping experiment that I'm going to be running on my farm uh, this season. I fully understand that a lot of you uh, probably just watched what I described and are shaking your head and saying, there is no way that's going to work. What in the hell are you guys even thinking about trying something like this for? And, uh, we get it. We know that there's uh, a lot of potential pitfalls, and this is complicated and hard, and most things that are good in life uh, usually are. And so... Uh, we're forging ahead regardless uh, because we feel that we've come up with an idea that checks a lot of boxes that uh, we feel the market is desiring, specifically around creating a system that has much more biodiversity involved uh, into it than what our current commodity uh, production system has. We've got a system that doesn't use soil health as a buzzword only, 
uh, but rather we are incorporating all the things that it takes to actually build soil health uh, into a system with the diversity, uh, the diversity of practices and uh, species that we're going to have in the system. Um, we think that this production system of uh, raising livestock and, and uh, grain could be extremely attractive to consumers seeking more transparency uh, in how their food is produced. That is tending to be kind of an important issue, especially in the last couple weeks. And last but not least, we are trying to find ways to increase farmer profitability at the farm gate. And uh, in doing stuff a little bit differently, hopefully uh, putting the farmer closer to that of the consumer in the supply chain, eliminating some of those middlemen in between, and retaining more value at the farm gate by doing things that are hard, like what we are proposing here. So um, if this sounds interesting to you and you want to follow along, uh, we are going to be kicking content out uh, via my Twitter page and YouTube. Um, shooting for once a week, I'm going to be releasing uh, a YouTube video that I'll distribute through Twitter. Um, so if you're interested in what we're doing and would like to follow along or comment, collaborate with us throughout the process, we would more than welcome that. Uh, so when the YouTube page uh, uh, goes up, please subscribe to it. Uh, like I said, follow me on Twitter. And uh, we're going to have some fun over the next four to six months trying to figure out how to be stock croppers. So thanks for watching, and uh, have a safe planting season in the meanwhile.